Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are well, here. Probably a little bit closer than the mic than usual, but who cares? We all have beanbags, so that's fun. I am the beanbag queen. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna go close the door. Whoa! Ah, How dare that door be open? Ah, oh, stupid door. No, close. All right, there we go. It's closed. Ah. Anyway, we're playing Shovel Knight. And Shovel Knight is quite the game. Uh, I don't. Alicia's playing Shovel Knight. Alicia is playing Shovel Knight. Uh, so, uh, yes, indeed. Yacht Club Games. Yacht. 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 No, it's Yacht. Ah, uh, start game. Yeah. Uh, Easy. I do wish we could do co op mode. Wubbit. Okay. <laughs> Wibbity wub. Wibbity um, wub. Wubbit wub. Wub 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 wub. Password. <laughs> Jinpai. I'm new adventure. Yes. Okay, so we can be either okay. Plague Knight or Shovel Knight. Uh, Plague Knight oh. goes on a totally different adventure. It's such a difficult decision, I know. Oh, look oh. at all these choices! Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna go with, like, classic Shovel yeah, Knight. Yeah, of course. Now register your name, Alicia. Um, David Spade. What? <laughs> David Spade. Gosh dang it. Uh-huh. Gonna have. I have no idea. Hmm, we'll find out. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Spade knight. Ah. Uh, Spade knit. <laughs> yep. Spade knit. Da 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 da. Same. Yay. 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 Uh, confirm. Ah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Of course. Spade Purple. knit. Hmm. So this game was made using, uh, mostly... Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel, Shovel Knight, Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower, Tower of, of Fate, Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel, Shovel Knight, Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield, Shield Knight. Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. In Skyrim. What? <laughs> but without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress mm. and her order of no, no quarter! quarter. <gasps> Only what? My now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms, and new adventure is about to begin. The adventure of Spade Knit. How exciting. Indeed. I actually like that intro, that's really cute. Yeah. Justice in Spade! <laughs> yeah, every single level starts with that. So yeah, this is Shovel Knight. Um, yeah, I believe it was made using, like, mostly the NES palette, except for, like, some brown, so they could actually add in black people that didn't look super racist. Um, but yeah, like, th this- so this game has a pretty simple control scheme. Uh, oh yeah, a good way to kill enemies is to actually do, like, a down attack. So, like, you jump and then hit down. Yeah. Oh! Mm -hmm. cool. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you, you just kind of shovel everything. <laughs> Uh, this is adorable. I love it. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, and if you hit down while you're just standing, uh, d just hit down while you're standing, and then you can kind of go like, on, let go of it. Dancing. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I, I think that's a cool little feature that they threw in. Wow! I, I dug up that huge brick. To oh man! This little. Pizza. Nice. Ten whole stuff. Ten whole stuff. It, it totally Whoa. doesn't say at the top the top left Taylor. Not at all. Doesn't. No. Uh. So yeah, this is. It's got a pretty standard opening in, in like a grassy. I, you know that's weird. Why do so many games open on like a grassy, uh, like a grassy kind of plane? Like Sonic does not? that. Mario does that. Well, actually, the first Mario didn't do that, but. Like every subsequent one did. Because you don't know what evil looks like. Yet. Okay! <laughs> it's beautiful. You do. Mm. 
game is adorable. I love mm -hmm. it already. Yeah. And uh, once you get more into it, it'll uh, it'll give you a, a good taste of just how just how much like the old NES-ish games it is. A bubble just hurt me. It did. <laughs> yep. I, I know I know what I need to do. I uh -huh. just forgot to click down. Oh, Crap. you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going left. You know, Dang it. What might help is using the D-pad actually. The D-pad. Because then it's more clear uh, when you're hitting down and when you're not. You gotta hit both down and to the side at the same time. I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just give me a second. I'm still getting used to this controller. Uh huh. Face puff. There you. Ah, there she go. got it. Yeah. Okay. I haven't used the D-pad really on this controller ever. So. Checkpoint. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Yeah, and uh, a cool little feature oh, as well dragons. that we can't, that will not allow us to use, but it, you can break the checkpoint and it'll give you a ton of uh, of gold and stuff, mm -hmm. but then you don't get that checkpoint anymore. So there's actually an achievement to get through the entire game breaking Without every checkpoint. single checkpoint. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's like a little, it's like a little reward for, for some extra difficulty, you know? Yeah, that's cool. Yep. I don't know how you would do it, because this game is not easy. Uh, especially when you get later in the game, and it's just like, Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. But yeah, you this... almost tried to Mario on that one. <laughs> what? Think... No, I, um, Mario. I'm getting used to D-pad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, I like to use a D-pad for like any game that's a side-scroller, typically, because it's pretty much just... That was the origin of side scrollers, where there were only four directions. Yeah, it's just like the D-pad is lower on the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is kind of weird to get used to, but I feel like it's more clear than like the control stick, so because like with the control stick, you don't know how far you have to angle it down for it to be oh, down. Oh, okay, cool. You're dead. So now uh, there aren't lives in this game, but it's just like you just lose uh, a percentage of your gold, and it spawns as a flying little uh, bag. So mm. if you can collect that, you get your gold back. And, okay, uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you you can die all you want, but uh, if you don't get your gold back, you're just gonna end up poor and unable to buy any upgrades. And I imagine the checkpoints are further apart later on to make it more difficult. Yeah. Less checkpoints and whatnot. Checkpoint placing is pretty good, though. It's usually checkpoints are placed before very difficult events, which is good. Cause dear gosh, this game has some difficult points in it. Mm. I think you can actually get around him if you just like, like you can bounce on his head with your uh, with your shovel down thing. It's really the best way to attack enemies. Yeah, rip. <laughs> hey, nice. I'm good at games. I You're swear. so good at games. Yeah. yeah. Who are you? I I do love the like the amount of personality this game me. has. Like just everything is, is just reminiscent of like an older game, but it also reeks of indie, which is kind of cool. Uh. It reeks of indie. Yeah, you know, indie. Indiana Jones. Um, Definitely. Of course. Wouldn't it be great if one day Indiana, like, well, like, Harrison Ford just filed a lawsuit with every single uh, indie game and was like, if you want to make an indie game and call it an indie game, it has to have Indiana Jones in it. So, Why like, would that be great? That, it'd be terrible, but it'd be that's hilarious. That's not his decision. It'd be hilarious, though. It wouldn't work out in his favor. It would not. And he would not, that would not happen, ever. But I think that would be hilarious if just every single indie developer had to put Indiana Jones in their game. Somehow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yes, spikes are instant death, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I was trying to jump further, but evidently there's no double jump. Nope. Um, so I should have realized that sooner. Yeah. Crap. It's alright. Now fun. you're back here. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I know what to do now. So, I'm, I'm hoping that next time uh, we have Alicia on here, we'll be able to play Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I am looking forward to that, to that sickness. 
because oh my gosh, that like that game. <laughs> <laughs> you realize I'm doing this on purpose now, Fish, right? Oh no. I like to do things that annoy people. <laughs> I believe. I believe in you. No, oh, darn, at this point, I miss. At this point, the most annoying thing that you're doing right now is not getting that single stop. <laughs> Like, it's right there. Pokemon Alpha you Sapphire. Can... Oh. You got it. Nice. <laughs> Taylor, you misjudged Delusia. I did. She has the, she has the touch. She has the power. It's chaos, evidently. Yep. Yeah, no. As soon as Alicia showed up, we walked back into my room where we record everything, and Taylor's soda had spilled all over, like, like a bunch of expensive things <laughs> that I have here. Luckily, they all still work. But uh, I definitely had that moment of sheer terror where I thought I might have lost like a hundred and fifty dollars worth of things to a soda. <laughs> that would have sucked. Uh, my gosh. Hey. So uh, we just so we being still in high school, we uh, just hit the second semester of our school year. Uh, so we have all new classes. So I'm, I'm curious. So uh, how how are your guys' classes going? Like what are you, what are they and whatnot? Well, I don't have anything for out with. Oh, well, that's fine. And I have physics. And then I have study hall. Mhm. Mm and then I have. Um, what, what do I have after study hall? I have psych. Uh huh. And then I have band. Uh -huh. And then I have sci-fi, <laughs> and then I leave. Ah. How about you, Alicia? Um. Okay. Well, I start off with first hour study hall. Yeah, I suppose um, I, I suppose I knew that. <laughs> yeah, you should know that, really. Um. And then I go to pre-calculus, mm -hmm. and that's um. That's actually fairly simple, but it's kind of really? sad because this semester I literally do not know. <laughs> I was hoping I could like drop down into a new level. Oh, yeah, that's true. No. Cause there's like a waterfall there, you know I, what I, I mean? I do, I do see where, I do see I where was like, oh, there must be some secret thing down there, cause waterfall! <laughs> um, cause my brain was like, you've played these kind of similar games before, yeah, Alicia, I, you know how this stuff works. I see where your brain was going there. I, I, I get you. So. But, evidently I was wrong. Yeah, apparently this game won't let you explore. Jeez, Yachita Club games. How dare you put a waterfall there and then insta-death. <sighs> You disgust um, me. But yeah, and then I have pre pre calculus, and that's um, that's not that bad. That's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Um, after pre calc, I have um, what is third hour? Third hour is no wait, second hour is AP English. My bad. Mm -hmm. Um, AP English, and that's not too bad. We're reading In Cold Blood right now, and it's like basically uh, Truman Capote read this article about um, what was it? It was this family, this, um, like, this was back in the time when, um, like, racism was still a really big thing, um, so I'm not being racist when I talk like this, um, but, like, this really, really important, this really, really wealthy white family that was, like, the perfect, perfect family ever, um, were murdered, and, like, it, there was... It was ridiculous because nobody could figure out what the heck it had just happened. It was this really small town. Bad things didn't happen to the small town. <laughs> I'm, ta I'm telling a story. I'm, I'm distracting myself. Um, small town. Bad things don't happen in this small town. So it basically like puts these people into this mode of holy crap, what the heck is going on? Oh my gosh, we're all gonna die. Mm -hmm. um, random murder. And so it it goes back and forth and it explores the mindset of the family before they're murdered, the killers, um, as they're going about, as they're planning everything they're gonna do, and then the town afterwards, and the people's reactions, and trying to solve this case, and obviously the case is solved, because he literally, like, talked to the murderers to get their point of views on the whole situation. Yeah, I feel like that would, I feel like that would help a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's cool, but it's also really, really weird at some points, because it's like, oh, wow. These people really are losing it, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Um, just the whole everything that's going on. So it's it's a cool book, uh, but it's also a very long book, and I have to have part four done on Friday. Oh. Um. So that's AP English. 
and that's fun. And then I have pre-calculus, and then after pre-cal is fourth hour, and fourth hour is AP psychology, um, and that's pretty fun. We usually just like take notes in there, and that's cool. Um, and fifth hour is fifth hour? fifth hour is culinary arts. That's a really simple class, but we get like a crap ton of homework in there, uh, so it can get kind of annoying at times how much homework I have to do. It's kind of like there. tedious. Yeah, tedious, ridiculous work that just doesn't need to be a thing. That's the worst kind of work. Like I'll, I'll always take like um, short and like worthwhile work over not bad. <laughs> You know, like, I, 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 something shouldn't be tedious, like, and, and that shouldn't make it difficult. It should be difficult because it's just difficult, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. We're learning about stocks and soups and sauces. Mm. I thought you meant stocks, like, like, line graph kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> like, that's really confusing sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so is that your schedule? Yeah. Um, no, I'm not done yet. Oh. <laughs> Sixth hour is honors choir, and that's super easy as well. Is there, like, a way to do up? No, you just kind of have to jump in and time it right. <laughs> Eventually you get items that let you do stuff like that, but I don't know. For now, you don't have any items. Now, see, so you, you just kind of wasted a bit of an opportunity, because if you had bounced off of that pterodactyl bird thing, you could totally have... Um, I got a giant turkey, I don't know what you're Nice, about. it's like the size of you. <laughs> you know, so I just ate it. Yeah, cool, whatever. But yeah, uh, Honor's Choir? Honor's Choir is cool, um, we don't, we just sing songs in there, and we sight read, and it's, it's fairly simple, at least for my purposes. <laughs> at least you got Does somebody else like to take a turn? Give <laughs> me. Oh boy. Yeah, Taylor is getting annoyed with my gameplay, isn't he? Um... I was wondering I how long. I just got a checkpoint, though, so... Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, don't my do gosh. That. Don't thought... do that. You don't want to go back that far. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm just bit... trying to figure out... Nope. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's yeah. kind of why I like to use the D-pad. It's very clear when you're going left, right, up, or down. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's Honor's Choir. And then 7th Hour is Sci-Fi. And that's cool. We're talking about time travel in there right now. Stop it. Mm -hmm. And, um... Oh, yeah. It's, it's an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. um, I like the book that we're reading. Because um, it's by H.D. Wells. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's it. And he's a cool author. Um, so that book is cool. A lot of cool things. Yeah. yeah. And then, eighth hour, I'm not at school. I get to leave after that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's early release. Woo. That's gonna be pretty convenient for recording. If, oh yeah. If uh. Oh yeah, don't you know? Oh, don't you know? I I can't like I'm. <laughs> it's also nice not to have to be at school all eight hours yeah. that we have, cause um, with play and with like getting stuff done for anime club and with this and um like the crap ton of other stuff I do, like having that extra hour to not have to sit at school. Really nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. My schedule, uh, consists of, let's see, like, right off the bat, I think I have study hall with you, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, we chill in there. We, we do chill. Uh, you usually have work, and then I, I, I'm distracting. You just sit on your phone. I, I oh. really do. Oh, it's so <laughs> easy. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Gosh. I'm so good at games, because I'm Taylor. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that was kind that of was a, That You're was a perfect sorry. Taylor impression. Um, no, don't be sorry, that no. was beautiful. Actually, um, can I tell a really quick story? Yeah, go for in it. In the middle of your thing. No. Um, I was, um, I have four younger siblings. Let's just make this clear. I have two younger brothers, both of whom are in high school, uh, freshman and a sophomore. I have two younger sisters. Um, Veronica is in middle school and Maria is in elementary school. And my little sister, Veronica, um, in sixth grade, she's sitting and she's putting dishes away while I was, like, cleaning up from supper and doing other stuff because my mom had to go to... What was she doing? She had to go to Joshua's wrestling meet. That's where she was because my sophomore brother, he does wrestling, and he's, oh, I have muscles. I toss off. I have yeah. muscles. Yeah. Oh. Muscles. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, that sort of deal. Hmm. So she was at his wrestling meet. 
I was cleaning up stuff from dinner and Veronica was putting the clean dishes away. Mm. She pulls out two cups and um, she puts, like, we stack the cups and then we put them in our thing because we have a crap ton of, like, little plastic cups for little kids. So she takes two of those plastic cups and she puts the bottom ends of them together instead of, like, stacking them. She, like, puts the bottom ends together really weird. And I'm like, what are you doing, Veronica? And she's like, I... Oh, and then she stops, and I'm like, oh, I'm Veronica, I'm through birthmark, through birthmark, oh. I'm Veronica, I'm through birthmark, Peter <laughs> Taylor, through birthmark, and I, I started doing this weird dance in the kitchen, because I like, I don't know, something about me doing that weird voice was like, ha, I'm so funny, I need to do some weird dance to mock my younger sister even more. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like start dancing around the kitchen and wiggling my butt and be like, through birthmark, through birthmark. And yeah, both my sisters were like losing it completely, and I was just super smart, super smart, I am super smart. And then she stacks the cups and flings the, like, she like whips her arm back, I don't know why, and flings the cup across the room, and I'm like, oh, look at me, I'm ready, guys. Super smart, super smart, Monica, super smart. And that's my story, and being <laughs> dumb, and how I have younger siblings. And <laughs> 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 Her bloody gun! <laughs> Sorry, I'm enjoying uh, the fact that Taylor's having issues with this game because evidently he's so good at games. Oh my gosh! Well, Taylor will continue made it to have oh, issues oh. next time on the first of Plays because we're already 20 minutes in. So, as soon as I can find the mouse, gosh dang it, where'd it go? 